Hi, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I'm going to show you the angle ruler. Now, a ruler is something you measure with, and guess what this measures? Well, angles. So, how does it measure angles? Uh, well, it's the angle that these two red uh, red uh, crosses here make with this green cross in the center. So, this would make 180 degrees now. And uh, before you think that this is a totally worthless tool, let me just uh, um, explain to you how this is used because, uh, I mean, sure, you can measure angles sometimes, that could be exciting, but uh, what this one does is that it is a trigger actually for when it, uh, when the angle, you have a minimum and maximum angle, I'll show you here, like this. You see, we have a minimum uh, minimum angle of zero and a maximum angle of almost uh, two pi meaning uh, almost pi meaning 180 degrees, and uh, the current angle is uh, almost 180 degrees. As we see here, but uh, the thing here is that what does this one output? Well, you need to understand the concept of virtual inputs then. So let's just create another let's create a 1d rotator here uh, that's featured in another tutorial but uh, we will use it here now let's just bind this one to uh, my input here I have a Logitech dual action gamepad here and I will simply bind this to my left thumbstick like that now we change a few parameters on this one uh, first of all, I want it to be infinitely fast, meaning it uh, reacts immediately to my, what my joystick does. And I want to limit the maximum roll to uh, 1, because, because. <laughs> this means 1 radian right now, but this one outputs radians, which you will see later, and therefore the 1 is of interest. Now, if I just hit record here, and... Uh, push my joystick forward, I will angle it in that direction, like that. Let's actually rotate this one so we can see what happens like this, because I know, notice that this is actually a negative roll right there, so like that. Now if I push it forward like this, I will get a forward roll. And uh, I want to show you here that the the virtual input that I can create here is uh, very interesting because this is how all our tools are communicating with each other. So instead of mapping the Logitech dual action here, I will not hit detect here because I will do the mapping manually. I could choose from the keyboard and then uh, let's say keyboard and then I would choose left arrow, A, B, C, D, blah, de, blah, like so. However, there's a third one here. And uh, of course, I don't have an angle ruler input device here. That's what this one has created. It has created a virtual input. So that's how you uh, communicate in, in our tools. And you communicate such things as ex external force to the four-wheeler or, or to the uh, two-wheeler or the crawler so that you can input a, 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 uh, an external force to them through another plugin such as the firepower so if you're interested in that go to the firepower tutorial right now I would just choose the angle ruler and see what uh, buttons so to speak it has it's not buttons of course but uh, it has these five different uh, values it can output let's choose the angle value to begin with here like so and see what happens. Now, if we take a look at the angle ruler here, we have the maximum angle here is 3.14. I will change that to say, um, well, actually, let's put it there. Let's keep it there for a while. I will change it very soon. Uh, and you will see here that uh, the, the uh, angle that we have here is 3.14 and as soon as I start moving this one it will 
change the angle here so you see that's what we have here and what's interesting now is that this one has also began to change so at here we had uh, 180 degrees uh, and uh, then we push this one forward and come to say here and then I push this one to this position here now this is 90 degrees between these two as you can see so it actually ang uh, measures the angle between these two with this one in the center as I said and it outputs it to this one here I see it's a little skewed let's change that like so and so okay yeah. okay so what happens here is that we input we create a virtual input that is outputted into this this uh, 1d rotator and let's continue with the inputs here and see what they do we have the angular velocity so that's how quickly these ones change so that's also I won't go into that one instead I would take the maximum trigger value and I would just stop it here for a while and I will increase this one to say uh, 1 and I will decrease this one to 2 I don't know exactly what uh, values these are this may be 135 degrees and this is perhaps 70 60 70 degrees something like that uh, and the thing here is that why does it have uh, no sorry that's this one is supposed to be one there this angular velocity is uh, the is a measurement actually so it will become zero here immediately so minimum angle and maximum angle and then you have in limits distance here that's a value that uh, goes between zero and one depending on where the current angle is and if the angle is below the minimum angle it will output uh, zero and if it's above the maximum angle then it will output one so we can have that one as an output also but right now we have the maximum trigger value what does that mean well you see here that the this uh, rotator here is actually zero right now even though we have an angle so we need to get a value that is higher than two meaning we have to go to some 130 120 degrees and then we will see what happens bang you see there it outputs one one radian here so that's maybe 60 degrees say and then when I pass inside of this maximum angle again to this side here it will be zero sorry I missed that like that bang 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 so you can have a trigger that triggers whenever you um, are within a maximum angle it will output one now for the minimum angle it's the opposite way around so if I now have an angle that is larger than uh, the the uh, minimum value it will be zero all the time however when I close in to a a value that is less than one meaning if I go into something that is uh, slightly below that threshold value there bang then it will output one again so this is uh, a very handy tool when you want to couple things together that reacts to certain angles for example a door opening or something like that so uh, with that I'm actually going to thank you for listening to this tutorial and uh, wish you good luck with the tool thank you very much